What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. It is new release day, 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. This is a four-box hobby break, three random teams each, number one. And again, 10 total spots. Everybody gets three random teams in the NHL. We combo up one, uh, two teams, Jets and Ducks, to make one spot, to make it an even 30. Remember, no veteran common ship, six uh, young guns per box, guys. And again, Kaprizov, one of the best rigs in the NHL this year. Um, finally, the NHL as well. He was in, I think, in Russia for a couple years. I think he's like, what, 23 now? Kind of reminds me of like uh, Valerie Nikushkin from the Dallas Stars at the time where such a huge prospect and then stayed in, in Russia, I think, for a couple years. But this guy's killing it. There's other great rookies in here. Dylan Cozens, Sutsil from the uh, Sens, I want to say as well. So let's get this going, guys. Dice roller here. Joseph down to Troy. Remember, we tripled your names. And then Ducks, Winnipeg Jets comboed. There we go. Let's roll it. Four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. There you go, five times. Josh Pruce at the top, Donna Bryan Croft. How am I watching here? Jesus. Supernatural. I have no idea what that is. All right. Here you go five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Carolina Hurricanes down to the Montreal Canadiens. Josh Pierce with the Hurricanes, Troy, you have the Yotes, Sean with the Knights, Troy with the Rangers, Joseph with the Blackhawks, Brian Crow with the Oilers, Sean with the Islanders, Brian Crow with the Red Wings, Troy with the Devils, Joseph with my Kings, Troy with the Flyers, Sean with the Ducks, Winnipeg Jets combo, Troy with the Panthers, Avalanche, uh, Canucks, Shea with the uh, Leafs, Brian Crow with the Wild and Blue Jackets, Penguins for you, Shea, um, Joseph with the Stars, Troy with the Bruins, Josh Bruce with the Sabres, Joseph with the Blues, Shea with the Predators, Troy with the Caps, Brian Croft with the Senators, Joseph with the Lightning, Flames, Josh Bruce with the Sharks, and Brian Croft with the Montreal Canadiens. So here we go, guys. If anybody wants to make any trades, give me a quick minute. In the meantime, I'm going to open up this case. So we're doing four box breaks, so we should have at least three breaks of these available. So number two is already up. If you guys want to run it back, I wouldn't mind breaking some more of this stuff. This stuff is nice. So in the hockey world, guys, I mean, of course, Cup RPAs are like the NT flawless of hockey. Um, you have future watches from SPA, Ice Premieres, and stuff like that. But I think the one thing that will always retain its value, especially the players are really, really good, is their young guns. This is basically one of the ultimate rookie cards you want. And they have definitely have grown in the last few years, especially this last year with the pandemic. Now, you know, you grade on PSA 10s, you know, you go for a lot. <clears throat> I mean, Nick, we're talking about like Pasternak's like young guns, PSA 10s are like almost $2,000. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely. That is true. ESPN has NHL back for the first time since like 2002 or something crazy like that. It's been a while. <clears throat> the, mm, not that I know of. I don't think the Kings are allowing fans. I think in California it's a little bit more strict. I think the only 
sport that's allowing fans right now is going to be the Dodgers in baseball because it's outdoors. Um, I'd assume that later this year, uh, when the season restarts for next year, they will be allowing fans by the time like September, October comes. I know in Arizona, we have a couple customers, they, they, they have like a little bubble type deal where they get like in a little cubes, like a little uh, 246 type of deals, which is actually pretty cool. Right, I don't think anybody's going to trade, right? Alright, TWC. All right, so here you go, guys. Uh, here is um, four boxes here, four boxes here, four boxes there. If I roll a one, two, we're gonna go to the left. Three, four, middle. Five, six, the right side. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these here will be used for other breaks. And again, I think Jen's got into number two. Would love to do another two box, four box break. So here you go, series two hockey. Nice John Tavares on there. Home of the young gun since 1990. We are unboxing, doing a little four box break of Series 2 Hockey, just released today. Oh, really, Mike? That's cool. Alright, it's a me, a Mario. Alright, we got a program of excellence. Jonathan Toes. I'll be going to the block house there, Jonathan Taves. There you go. Ian Mitchell, Young Gun, is our first one of the box. We got VTEC. We got Young Guns here for the Sharks. Nicholas. You heard the Street Super Boy? Okay. 
We got Artem. Jamie Benn. And Oliver Eggman Larson Dazzlers. I actually love these Dazzler set cards. They're pretty cool. Bowen Byron. Pavel. And look at that. We got an autograph. Signature Sensations. Dan Vladar. Goaltender for the Boston Bruins. And Bruins is going to Troy. It's a very cool photo right there. Keandre Miller. Mike Schmaltz, Canvas. He real Connor McMichael Leon Drysaddle award winners just a little blank yeah I wonder if they're just gonna keep a couple of the same announcers ooh Sean Walker clear cut or they're going to hire some good announcers for the NHL. Nico Mikula for the Blues. And if we have multiples of these guys, we're just going to give them out evenly. I'm sure they're, they're pretty much going to be the same. William Carlson. The Bull. Matias. Brom. Here, Oliver Joseph. Same thing with this one here. I'm sure there'll be multiples of those. The Nuge. Matisse. For the Blue Jackets. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna put all the young guns in a little box, little, little organized here. And the canvases together as well. All right, next box. Bum, bum, be lum, bum, bum.
All right, guys, second box out of the four. Woj bomb. Alright, next box. Next box. Dylan Coglin. Shay Theodore. And there you go, Dylan Cousins. Very, very nice. Born in 2001, guys. Can you believe that? Buffalo Sabres. That's a nice one right there. Josh Bruce. I think Dylan Cousins would be selling pretty well, too, as well. Calvin. Young Guns here. Ryan McLeod. We got Cole Smith for the Nashville Predators Young Guns. Kyle Palmieri. Canvas. Followed by a little Bull Horvat. Dazzlers. Bowen Byram. Ooh. Little MVP insert. 15 out of 20. Uh, Kyril Ustamenko. That's pretty nice. That's going to be going right there, I believe, to the Flyers. Troy with that one. Little Elio Sorokin, UD Canvas for the Islanders. Alan Byram. No, so Rex, when we so when we bought this Asia, we were told that some people we're experiencing that some boxes will have no autos, some boxes will have two autographs. So just to make it kind of even and fair, since it's kind of like uh, the way um, Artifacts Hockey was this year, where some boxes had no hits, some boxes had double the hits, we made it where a buyer has a floor. So if someone hasn't, let's say you purchase it today for the first time, you buy a box. If for some reason it's missing an autograph or... Even even if you think like the box suck, like we're just gonna have you have the floor, meaning that if you want to buy another box, you have priority over somebody else. Right after you finish the first box, you can't wait like three hours later. But like, you know, I want to get another box. Like right then and there, you decide whether you want another box or not. But it's just more for in case the autograph's not there, then you can have priority to get another box because you don't want someone to take and snipe the next box after yours because it could have two autographs. But I haven't personally experienced any autographs missing. Mackenzie, Young Guns, clear cut. Um, but I think that's the reason why we have that for, just to be safe. And if you decide you want to pass on the next box, then someone else can just buy a box after you. Alexander, Barbanov. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Dougie Hamilton canvas. You got Felipe. Uh, 
Thomas Harley. And we got Steven Lorenz Young Guns for the Carolina Hurricanes. Joseph Wool. And there you go. Ed Howard, yeah, you know what? I've pulled a lot of that dude. I haven't pulled, I think I haven't pulled an autograph in a little bit, but I feel like he does pop out in most of those little team all box. I mean, those Asia boxes. They're really cool boxes, man. Honestly, I love those. It's better than breaking a big ass super jumbo box. And they're like mini boxes, too. Like I was telling people, it's like these are like, these are like little uh, super jumbo boxes that you can like hang as an ornament for Christmas. <laughs> That's how tiny they are. Oh really? I did one on Monday. I don't know if you're watching. They're really cool though. They're they're like legit little mini super super jumbo boxes. Just like four packs. I always say they're the cutest little things. <laughs> but it's extremely hard to get that bone in Asia. We had someone have us find some and not many people break that though. It's really tough to find. All right, good luck. Next box. We got Joe Pavelski, canvas. We got Matthias, uh, Matthias, bro. And we got a checklist, soup sale, and Dylan Cozen. So again, if we get two of these, we're just gonna split them up evenly. But if we get an odd number. Then we'll have to randomize. So right now we're gonna have to randomize this. So that'll be Sabres, Josh Pruce, and Ottawa Senators, Brian Croft. That's usually how I like to do it. Darcy Camper, that's a nice cool canvas card. I think they do the best photography in these canvas cards. They're pretty awesome. For the Sharks. Malosh. Michael DiPietro. And Anthony Angelo. Alexis Lafernier, marquee rookies. Is that how a PG Platinum is going to look this year?
Mike Riley. Krebs. And we got a relic here for the Colorado Avalanche. Braden Burke for the Yokes. JT, John Tavares, and a Dazzlers, Nick Robertson. And we got Michael Kempney to 100 UD exclusive. Matisse. Alrighty. Next box. Bum bum bilum bum bum. Alright guys, last box of a four box break here of new release Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Again, another four boxes is on the website. Um, I mean, we still haven't hit a, a suit sill or a um, Caprice off yet. So, I mean, if we don't hit one here in the last box, I'm sure that second break will continue to start flying. So get it rolling, guys. That could be a pretty strong break to get to get done. It looks like we're halfway there, five left. So we can run that back. Remember, Mosaic uh, Football, uh, Random Divisions, two box break is down to uh, one left. I can also still squeeze in that break easily with that second Series 2 break. If you guys want to get that done. We hit a Dylan Cozens, Young Gun, so far. I mean, that's a pretty strong one, but... And then the Suit Sale... And Cozen's checklist, young gun. We have an autograph too, actually. It's pretty nice. Well, Josh, you got randomized the Sabers, and I think you got one of the better hits so far. You got a Dylan Cozen's young gun, but no Caprice off or suit sale young guns yet.
Yeah, well, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we got the Keandre too as well. But yeah, I mean, obviously every box is going to be different, but at least that gives you guys a better picture of maybe potentially what's hiding in the next four box break. Nils, Hoglander. Dude, the Sabres are terrible. Like, I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, honestly, guys, I love hockey. You guys know that. I'm a big, big, big Kings fan, but I haven't really been paying attention to, like, other teams. I've just been focusing on the Kings and, you know, stuff like that. But, man, Sabres are terrible, though. Their, their record is horrible. Igor Zumala. Clayne Keller. Whenever it sells out, man. Uh, I don't think any of the breaks are sold out. So there's no scheduled breaks. Once you see it sold out at zero, then that's when it'll break. Uh, every five minutes, Nightbot drops the schedule. We have a little Google Doc. I just pinned it right now. You can always check back there if it's sold out. When is it going to do right? When is it going to continue? To, or when it's going to break, you know? Brandon Hagel. I love Cal Peterson. So we got him for out of Notre Dame and I'm happy he signed with us I think he knew that it was going to take a couple years uh, to be the starter but I mean I think Quickie is pretty much on his last last leg although I, do, I still love Johnny Quick I still think he's still good but Cal is definitely the future Roop hints. Soderstrom. Lafreniere, UD portraits. Nice. I know. I just I was actually looking through one of my bins right here, and I found like four or five of them. <laughs> I found a bunch of my Kempe future watch autographs, like premier RPAs. I was like, whoa! I didn't know this was in here. And look at that fluorescent Dylan Cozens. Nice break for the Sabres. Brandon Hagel. And the Fernier Dazzlers. Rangers going to Troy. And a Young Guns Shane Bowers canvas. I like Blake Lazat. I don't know. It's just kind of hard, man, because I don't know. To me, the Kings have so many young young people, young, young players in their pipeline. It's just I don't know when they're all going to get a shot. <laughs> Like, the Ontario rain is just loaded. Gabe Velarde, that's the guy I like. Joseph, if you're willing to sell this, I'll buy this off of you. I don't know how much it costs, but... Gotta get some Gabe Velarde. So let me know, man. Jordan Gross. And there you go. Alrighty, guys. And there you go. So I'll do a quick recap of uh, the Young Guns, the inserts and canvases really quick. Like, Rosmus Kupari has barely played, like, a game or two this year. And he was a big draft pick for us from, from Finland. You know, obviously, you still have Turcotte down in Ontario. Obviously, you have Byfield we just drafted, and he's probably going to play next year. I think he's pretty much there already. I just, there's no room for them. So, it's like Brown and Carter and all these older players, minus Kopitar, I think, are going to have to be gone soon. Just can't keep them forever, you know? 
All right, guys. So here you go. Here's the Young Guns re recap. I'm just gonna go through them. You guys can see it. So no Kaprizov or Sutsil. Young Guns in this four boxes. Yeah, they definitely rebuilt big time after the last like three or four years. Um, and I think so too. I think they'll be contending soon too. If they can make the playoffs this year, that'd be amazing. But I think next year they're going to be right there. Kopitar is still killing it for the Kings. <laughs> Dude is still going strong. Hope he never retires. The Fernier portraits. And then we have to randomize this one UD checklist right here. And then here were some of the bigger cards. Gabe Velarde, Dazzlers, Dazzlers, Alexis Lafreniere, Cozens, Fluorescent. We got a Relic here for the Avalanche. We got exclusives here for the Capitals, Kempney. We got Yustemenko to 20, MVP, insert to 20. Dylan Cozens, Young Guns, and we got one autograph, Dan Vladar. So there you go, guys. Very, very nice. So, here we go. Let's randomize that one checklist card. And if you guys are looking forward to some other breaks, this one's still at one, and it looks like this one might have sold out already. Two left, so we can get number two going right after this. So let's quickly get a dice roll, a list randomizer, and that'll be between the sends and sabers let's roll six and a one lucky number seven good luck one two three four five six seven staying with the sabers what a break so josh Proust, you're also going to get the ud checklist <clears throat> yeah, you're a big Avalanche fan, man. Dude, you guys are. You guys need to stop blowing it every year. So there you go. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.